passed another milestone by now? Or two? We're in New Jersey. Maybe they don't go this far. Dr. Franklin said he set them up all the way to Boston. Isn't that one? Oh, no! Oh. They're the ones who bribed the postman. They're Tories. They're waiting to intercept the mail. What are we going to do? Maybe we should turn around and go back. Then the mail won't get through. General Washington won't get his dispatches. Maybe they'll let us through. But there's a British soldier with them. British soldiers are not monsters, you know. That's because you're British. May I remind you you're also British? Okay, have it your way. Why don't you go ahead? I have to water my horse. I'll meet you at the blockade. Hurry. <laughs> Whoa. Now, why would a pretty young lass such as yourself be out riding alone? Thank you, sir. You are most kind. I am not riding alone. My friend James is watering his horse. He'll be along. And what is the nature of the business that takes you to New York? Well, you see... Ah, here he comes. Whoa! Now that he's here, may we pass? I'd still like to know the nature of your business. We're visiting a sick friend. Sarah got a letter that was weeks old saying that a dear friend of ours may perish soon. We only hope we're not too late. Oh, well in that case, please move along. We won't detain you further. Thank you, kind sir. Your servant, milady. That was a shameless teradiddle you told them about our perishing friend. I know. It was wrong. The truth would have done just as well. I was afraid to take the chance. James, you haven't got the mailbag. You think we would have made it through if I did? But where is it? Where they won't find it. James, what have you done with the mail? We'll sneak back for it when the sun goes down. You are shameless. Do you want your letter to get through or not? I want you to know that I disapprove of your deception with all my heart. What if we get caught? Now that we've lied, the consequences will be harsher, I'm sure. But you saw when we rode back through. They're gone now. Did you hear something? Sarah, quit worrying. We're almost there. <gasps> something you forgot to tell us. Run, Sarah! What have we here? So, you've led your friends here! It's not much farther where we left the horses. Just keep running! I told you this would be trouble. Oh, we can't make it. We've got to. Keep on them! They've got a load of mail! with us by what right are you detaining us like she said by what right by what right are you carrying the mail you don't look like royal postal employees I'm sure you stole the mail from those men I don't care if you did so you might as well admit it they probably stole it themselves I purposely set off that gunpowder explosion to distract them so we could rescue the mail whose side are you on anyway we are volunteers we're on the side of helpless colonists. So are we. And you prove it by stealing their mail? Have you ever heard of Dr. Benjamin Franklin? Who hasn't? We're carrying the mail for him. Have you some proof of that? I do. Dr. Franklin asked us to deliver these letters to New York. Well, this is Franklin's signature. So you are official couriers. That is a very different matter. Congress has asked Dr. Franklin to look into the possibility of forming an independent postal system for the colonies. Did everybody hear that? We're breaking away from the royal postal system! Wonderful! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ah! You have no idea what good news that is. Those Tories wanted the mail. I'm sure they did. And may we ask who you are? You may, if you can keep a secret. I can. And you? Of course. We began some years ago as the New Jersey Committee of Correspondents. We were a volunteer organization dedicated to spreading news throughout the colonies. Our mission was to unite the colonies through better communication. We sent messages to the colonies about the British threat. We copied press reports and intelligence messages gathered from our spies, and we spread them throughout the colonies. Now we still work together, keeping tabs on Tory spies, like the men who tried to steal your mail. Then you'll let us carry our bag to New York? Let you? We'll help you. We'll supply an armed escort all the way to New York. You see, I told you my plan was a good one. But you could have gotten us in trouble. She's not kidding. The British would gladly imprison any one of us in this room for what we're doing. You two amaze me with your courage. You're too kind. He's right, Sarah. You showed some real bravery. Why not? I've got you to inspire me. Even if I don't always approve of your tricks. All the Committee of Correspondence wants to do is spread the truth. The truth is important. It's everything! But if the truth they are spreading leads to treason and actions against the Crown... It's still truth, and they should be allowed to spread it. Well, I don't approve of the way you lied. We wouldn't have gotten this far. I believe in truth, not lies. Look, we're almost to New York because of my lie. We were almost stopped because of your lie. We're almost to New York because of the New Jersey Committee of Correspondence. So you do approve of what they're doing? I suppose I do, in spite of myself. We'll make a patriot out of you yet. I already am a patriot. At least in New York we'll be back among subjects still loyal to the king. They're not all loyalists. We've brought the mail all the way from Philadelphia! <laughs> this entire mailbag has been unseen by British eyes! Why are we stopping off in this tavern to brag about our exploits? This is the end of the line, Sarah. The mail is distributed here. The volunteer mail carriers divide up the letters at the bar according to destination points and fan out to the different parts of town to deliver them. What about my letter to my mother? It's going to London, not a part of New York. One of the volunteers takes the overseas letters to the harbor and puts them on the first ship headed across the Atlantic. So we've done it? Yes! My mother will get her letter? She will, Sarah. You can count on it. James, I'm so happy I could kiss you! Sarah, please! I've suffered enough at the hands of the British! Dr. Franklin, your report is most complete. I suggest that we waste no time in naming a Postmaster General. Because of his expertise, experience, and genius, and as a slap in the face to the British Crown which saw fit to remove him from his post, I put into nomination the name of Dr. Benjamin Franklin for the Office of Colonial Postmaster General. All in favor? Aye! All opposed? It's unanimous. May I present to you the first man in history to hold the title independently of any king or royal principality, Postmaster General Franklin. Thank you, fellow conspirators. I accept this honor if for no other reason than to make the king's blood boil. Dr. Franklin, what will be your first official act? To establish a line of posts from Falmouth in New England to Savannah in Georgia, and to employ a fleet of trustworthy, incorruptible men. And neither rain, sleet, snow, nor dark of night will keep them from their appointed rounds. Twenty-seven, July, seventeen seventy-five. Dearest mother, I have read your last letter thirty times which is one time for each day I waited for it. 
I am so relieved that you received my letter about father. I am relieved that you received any letter from me at all. Thanks to James and Dr. Franklin, I have a new appreciation of the importance of the postal service and of communication in general. How can the colonists hope to survive these difficult times without communication? Even if I don't agree with all of their stated aims, I do so admire the work that Dr. Franklin has done and continues to do in an effort to make this gigantic world a little smaller, so that, even if we are separated by geography, we may all be united in understanding. Franklin, named Postmaster General of New Independent Colonial Postal Service.